Well done. That irritating rooster has lost its voice. Are you sure you wish to leave the land? Click again to confirm. Land. I'm certain they'll join us against the Aztec hordes. And they have a creature, too. We need to build a town here, though. We need the tribe to grow. First, let's look at the Norse. Hey, seems they have a leader. Concentrate, and your godly powers will often let you hear his thoughts. What? Greeks on my homeland? But I saw them all die at the hands of the Aztecs! Leader, if we build up an impressive enough town, these Norse will flock to join us. Or if we build a big army, we can hunt them down and put them to the sword. Leader, we need to start building. We should start making houses. Look, the people have remembered all about altars. Altars are where you can focus your godly miracles. Let's build one as soon as possible. Disciple Forester. <laughs> Disciple Forester.
Disciple farmer. Disciple farmer. Disciple farmer. Disciple Builder Disciple Builder Disciple Builder Disciple Breeder Disciple Breeder Disciple mine worker. Disciple mine worker. Disciple mine worker. Ah, yes, walls. These are vital to the defense of your city. We need to build this wall to ensure the Norse can't invade. Click the action button on the turret once. Drag and then click to place it. Ah, I do enjoy the safe, warm feeling of a wall. It's like a big stone nappy. Disciple Builder what? Disciple Breeder
Such power can be wielded with an altar. Yes, a temple adds a lot of impressiveness to your town. Let them build! We will just have more to destroy! Disciple Mine Worker. The population will be grateful now you've built them a tavern. People are happier when their town has a market. If you need a reminder of what your objectives are, go to the objectives part of the menu. When the Greeks are exterminated, the Aztecs will rule this world. I cannot tolerate these Greeks any longer. I will have to act. Disciple breeder. Disciple Forester. Disciple Forester.
Disciple Farmer. Disciple Farmer. We need more Disciple Farmer. Alters work on a power called mana. You can generate mana by creating worshippers. Go on, create a worshipper. Show us you can do it. Builders, our people must be faithful and strong of heart. Disciple breeder, ah! disciple worshipper. Now that we have a worshipper, the altar will generate mana. Of course, more worshippers mean more mana. Remember, miracles cost mana, and you need worshippers to generate mana. <laughs> Simple. And get this, you can drop people straight into the altar to create mana too. You won't ever see them again though. Oh yes, you can also use your tribute to buy miracles. Miracles are a very powerful force, which can be used for good or for... Senseless, mindless and glorious evil! Disciple worshipper. This altar already has a water miracle. Try it on that field over there. Grab the miracle and just drop it on the field to water it. Watering? I was hoping for something more, well, fiery. Still, give it a try, boss. I must find out what they are doing. Prepare a force to destroy these Greek troops. You cast a water miracle. Well done, great one. How can the Aztec... Water, water everywhere. How wonderful. Marvelous. Hey, boys. I think our friends just wet himself. People are migrating. They want to live in our town. They're bringing all their worldly goods. Hooray! Turn that settlement into a military outpost. Build armies there for defense against these people. Hey, he's getting pretty jumpy. Something big's gonna happen. And that's why we need strong defenses. That's why we need to get building armies too. Settlement, we must stop this Greek invasion.
This is Norse land. No intruders must be allowed. For a peaceful race, I must watch closely. <laughs> Disciple farmer. A migration is waiting at our borders for you to accept them. Their numbers increase, but not for long. <coughs> Disciple Builder. <coughs> Disciple Farmer. Disciple Farmer. Disciple Builder. to wage war against me? So be it. Oh. 
The Aztecs want to rule. They need the Greeks destroyed. Feeding the people just got easier with this granary. Ha! They can build whatever they like. We will just tear it down. If you want your town to grow quickly, it'll need lots of food. Our creature can help with this by gathering crops. All you have to do is assign him the role of gatherer near a field. To assign the creature a role, open the Creature Roles interface. Select the green Gatherer Role button. This changes the creature's role and puts the leash in your hand. Excellent. Now just double-click the action button where you want the creature to perform the role. See the radius around the flag? The creature will gather resources from within that. He'll always carry out roles inside the radius. He'll then put them in your storehouse. At the moment, your creature isn't a very good collector. He's not gathering much grain each time. This is because he's a level one gatherer. You can improve his performance in roles by spending tribute. That way, he'll get much more efficient. Clever, eh? Your creature can also be a warrior, a builder, or an entertainer to keep the people amused. Builder creatures help with the construction of anything in the town. Yeah, being a warrior will make him serve as an army unit. Our creature is still small, and he's not a skilled warrior. You can use tribute to upgrade his warrior role, and he'll get way more lethal. Uh, yes. Or you can simply leave him in free will mode. He'll do whatever he wants, and whatever you've taught him. The last thing you need to know about roles is that they affect your creature's free will. Yes, the longer he remains in a role, the less free will he'll have. Leave him in a role for too long and he'll become more like a machine than a pet. Using him in roles for a while is fine. And you can see how much free will he has by looking at this bar on the creature interface. 
To remove your creature from a roll, click on the Free Will button. Now, why not play around with rolls and stuff, boss? See if you can get a bigger town out of it. And remember, if you get attacked, make him a warrior. The Greeks mock us. The pitiful survivors of the Aztec attack will not last long here. These Greeks build impressive cities. They are tempting our people. It must stop! Prepare a force to destroy these Greek troops. Yeah! Arches! I love ranged weapons with a passion! Oh, you just can't beat a nicely oiled catapult. Disciple Refiner Disciple Refiner Disciple Breeder Disciple Refiner If the Aztecs are to rule with Norse help, I must stop these persistent Greeks. The Greek town cannot be allowed to grow.
Men, watch out for ranged attacks. They have archers now. To build an army, click and drag the army flag. Arrows. They hurt, but you can't hurt them. The ground will be red with Greek blood. So, the Greeks have recruited a platoon. Let's see how it fares against Norse Iron! The Greek warriors are no match for Norsemen. Nothing beats angry guys with swords, boys. Their strength grows. We must prepare for war. Ready! Get up there! Get up there! What? A Greek army is coming? Get ready, men! War is upon us! My Aztec masters will be pleased when I hand them the severed heads of this Greek army! The Greek ranks swell. They breed like rabbits! Pa! Norsemen! 
Call to arms! The Greeks are coming! A migration is waiting at our borders for you to accept. 